The Idaho Democratic Party is the affiliate of the Democratic Party in the state of Idaho. Although the party has been in the minority for most of the state's history, it has produced several notable public figures, including the late U.S. Senator Frank Church and former Governor and Secretary of the Interior Cecil Andrus. Democratic strength in Idaho is concentrated in Blaine County and Pocatello, as well as parts of Boise and the Idaho Panhandle region. Trade union support has traditionally been a key component of Democratic success in Idaho. Recent former party chairs include Richard Stallings, a former member of the United States House of Representatives from Idaho, Haley attorney R. Keith Rourke, former U.S. House candidate Larry Grant, and former U.S. House candidate Bill Mock. In August 2015, former state senator Bert Marley of McCammon became party chair, succeeding Larry Kenk of Post Falls, who resigned for health reasons. In 2008, the Idaho Democratic Party won its first congressional race in 16 years, when Walt Minnick defeated Republican incumbent Bill Sally in the state's first congressional district. The party currently does not hold any major seats at the state or federal level. Perhaps the most well-known Democrat in the state is current Boise Mayor, Dave Beater, however, the office is nonpartisan. History Created in 1863 after the discovery of new mining territory, the early Idaho Territory was heavily populated by settlers from western Oregon, California and Nevada who supported a radical Republican agenda. However, towards the end of the war, Idaho became flooded with Confederate refugees from states like Missouri who voted, like the miners in Idaho, heavily Democratic. So much so that the state became a Democratic stronghold for the next two decades. At the dawn of statehood, despite ceding Idaho almost entirely four years earlier to the Populists and Republicans, Cleveland won only two popular votes in 1892. A fusion populist, Democratic ticket behind William Jennings Bryan's candidacy won the state with 78.1% of the vote with the support from Silver Republicans. Nevertheless, the three man congressional delegation remained two part populist, one part Republican. It wasn't until the turn of the century that Idaho saw its first Democratic representation in Congress, Senator Fred Dubois, U.S. Marshal of the Idaho Territory and a former Republican. He successfully campaigned on the disenfranchisement of Mormons on the grounds that they broke the law by practicing polygamy, already having barred them from holding office while he held office in the state legislature. Ironically, while his anti-Mormonism as a Republican kept Democrats out of office after 1882, his anti-Mormonism as a Democrat had the same result after 1902, though Democrats and Jewish Governor Moses Alexander were able to implement a radically progressive agenda with the backing of the Nonpartisan League while in control during Woodrow Wilson's presidency, they quickly ceded power and it wasn't until Franklin Delano Roosevelt's 1932 landslide that they began to turn out state and local as well as national Republican and office holders for a sustained period of time. That year, all three congressional Republicans up for re-election were defeated by Democratic challengers by at least 11%. All three challengers, like their state party, were stalwart supporters of FDR's New Deal. Despite a turn of opinion against the federal government's programs years later, Democrats retained two of their three newly attained seats for at least 15 years and managed to control the legislature for eight until the chambers evened themselves out during and immediately after the war. In the post war decades, as state politics was professionalized, Republicans dominated the state legislature and the governor's mansion, but Democrats maintained a steadfast presence across all other executive offices. A platform of environmental concerns gave Idaho its last Democratic governor to date even as it became more conservative in its congressional delegation and state legislature. However, in the 1970s and 1980s, Democrats lost two key voting groups. After the National Party adopted a host of liberal social issues like abortion rights and feminism, Mormons left the party in droves. Meanwhile, unions lost influence in already declining mining and timber industries. Since 1994, when four term Democratic Governor Cecil Andrus retired and Representative Larry LaRocco was defeated, only one member of the party, Walt Minnick, has won either statewide office or election to Congress. He was subsequently defeated by Republican Raul Labrador two years later. Idaho Democrats currently seat only nine members of the House and six members of the Senate, slightly worse than the approximately 20% they held in each chamber in 1996 when the party first collapsed. 
Unlike with other Mountain West states, Nevada and Colorado among them, immigration has not shift Idaho leftward. Rather, Californians and other West Coast residents who have moved there have done so largely for cultural instead of economic reasons. Elected officials Members of Congress None Statewide offices None Legislative leadership Senate Minority Leader, Michelle Stennett House Minority Leader, Matt Erpelding <laughs> 2008 nominees for major offices United States Senate, Larry LaRocco United States House of Representatives, District 1, Walt Minnick United States House of Representatives, District 2, Debbie Holmes Topic: 2010 nominees for major offices United States Senate, Tom Sullivan United States House of Representatives, District 1, Walt Minnick United States House of Representatives, District 2, Mike Crawford Gubernatorial, Keith G. Allred Topic: 2012 nominees for major offices United States House of Representatives, District 1, Jimmy Ferris United States House of Representatives, District 2, Nicole Lefevre Topic 2014 nominees for major offices United States Senate, Nels Mitchell United States House of Representatives, District 1, Shirley Ringo United States House of Representatives, District 2, Richard Stallings Gubernatorial, A.J. Belukov Topic. 2016 nominees for major offices United States Senate, Jerry Sturgill United States House of Representatives, District 1, James Piotrowski United States House of Representatives, District 2, Jennifer Martinez 2018 nominees for major offices United States House of Representatives, District 1, Christina McNeil United States House of Representatives, District 2, Aaron Swisher Gubernatorial, Paulette Jordan 2012, Affiliates of IDDP Idaho Young Democrats LGBTA Democratic Caucus of Idaho Idaho Democratic Latino Caucus Olds Dems Idaho Idaho Democratic Women Caucus Topic Chairs of IDDP Bert Marley Larry Kenker Keith Rorclary Grant Richard H Stallings Carolyn Boy Secathy Garrett Bill Mockmel Morgana K Leanhart Minnick George Klein 1978 John F. Greenfield 1976-77 A.W. Bill Brunt 1952–1954 John G. Walters 1958 John Glassby George A. Greenfield 1954–1955 Gilbert Larson, 1952 Ed P. Brennan 1949 Dan J. Kavanagh 1947–48 David L. Bush 1944–46 Ben W. Davis 1939 Ira H. Taylor 1937 T. A. Walters 1931 Edwin M. Holden 1930 L. E. Dillingham 1925–1929 Drive. W. R. Hamilton, 1918 Joseph T. Pence 1914 Ben R. Gray 1912 Kirtland I. 
Perky 1900 to 1902 George Ainsley delegate 1890 to 1891 Topic See also Political party strength in Idaho Idaho Democratic Caucuses 2016 Idaho Democratic Caucuses 2012 Idaho Democratic Caucuses 2008